welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to protect your system using Kaspersky Free Antivirus. This program is absolutely fantastic and I do highly recommend using it and it's free. You cannot get any better than that. To start off with, all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you are on this page, you now need to click on download now at the top. And you now need to go save file and we now need to run the setup file and click run. It will begin to connect to the Kaspersky servers. You now need to go continue. And you now need to go I confirm and press accept. And we need to go accept again and go confirm. You now need to press accept again and confirm. And obviously just read through all of that stuff if you want it to. You now need to press install and it will begin to install your brand new protection for Windows. I highly do recommend to install an antivirus program onto your Windows operating system. I know if you are using Windows 10, it really is a lot more secure these days, but I do still recommend you use antivirus for Windows 10 as well, just to be on the safe side, because you never know how good these people at making these viruses can be. All it takes is to click on that one link and then you've downloaded a virus onto your computer without you knowing. You now need to press apply and you now need to press done. It should now boot up Kaspersky free for you. You now need to sign in or if you don't have an account, you then need to create an account by clicking don't have account yet. You just need to type in your email address and a password. Once you have signed in, you will end up with a window that looks like this. It's always a good idea to press database update to start off with, just to make sure you are using the latest database. Once you have finished downloading the latest database, it wouldn't hurt running a scan just to be on the safe side. Once you have finished updating the database, you can now press scan and this will scan your system. You can either do a full scan, a quick scan, or you can select what type of scan you want to do. I'm just going to do a very quick scan. And that is it. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.